What's up guys, I'm going to be showing you how to get S off on your HTC device using the Moonshine S off method. Now this is a Droid DNA, but it's pretty much the same for all HTC devices. First off, you want to make sure that you are unlocked the HTC dev. If you're on a Droid DNA, you don't need to do that because you can't. But you're going to go under battery, or it's power under you know, newer HTC devices. Then you're going to go down to developer options. You're going to want to turn those on and make sure that USB debugging is checked on. Then you're going to go ahead and plug in your phone to your computer. Alright, and once on your computer, you want to make sure that you have the drivers installed. I will have a link below to the drivers that I'm using that work just fine. And you're also going to want to head on over to this XDA thread, which will also be in the description. Now, you can go to moonshine.io, but I thought it was funny how they actually put out the thread because it kept saying make sure HTC Sync is uninstalled and all these different lines and I just thought it was kind of funny. So on moonshine.io you see that it S offs our device, it unlocks our bootloader. That is for the Droid DNA only. If you have to unlock your bootloader with HTC Dev if it supports it. It installs the Moonshine HBoot SU. So let's go ahead and hit start. Now this is what we need. We can do this on Linux or we can do this on Windows. I'm doing this on Windows because Linux has messed up my screen recording like tw three times so far and so I just kinda quit on that you wanna make sure USB debugging is enabled fastboot is disabled which we have already done and you wanna make sure that you have the 2.06 if you're on the Droid DNA and 1.26 for the HTC One on AT&T though we'll have a list of the firmwares so let's go ahead and continue to next and these are all of the packages that we need they give us a Linux one and a Windows one. So find your device. Mine is a Droid DNA on Windows. See, I have already downloaded it to make things a little bit faster. They support a lot of devices so far. So what we're going to want to do now is go back. And we want to extract that file. So I'm just going to go ahead and show in folder. And I'm going to right click and extract all. And just do yes. Alright, once that's extracted, we're going to go ahead and right click on distiller and run as administrator. Alright, and we get this little disclaimer right here. Do you understand the implications of this warning? This may break our device. You are in full responsibility of your own device. You cannot blame anybody else if this messes up your phone for any reason. So we're going to go ahead and hit enter. Now, this will expect us to know how to use ADB and Fastboot, which I have installed. And use these tools to test USB... I've already tested, so we're going to go ahead and continue. Realize that Moonshine SOF cannot support every custom ROM. That's why I am on stock. Understand that IRC is not a general help desk. You want to make sure that you have the correct package for your device, and you want to make sure that USB debugging is turned on. Understand that you cannot redistribute or repack Moonshine. So we can we agree to all those. So we're going to go ahead and hit yes. Do not for any reason touch, unplug, lick, or MAME your device. Not sure what MAME is. So we're going to let this do its thing. Alright, for some reason I'm getting the unlocked bootloader with S off, but I'm not getting the Moonshine bootloader. So I'm going to try and run the program one more time and see what happens. We're going to run as administrator. Yes. And we're going to go ahead and try this one more time. We are unlocked and we do have S off. So I'm going to exit out of that. And I'm going to exit out of that. I'm going to go back to my browser. And what I'm going to do is go to twerp. Alright, so I'm going to hit the power button to go back to the bootloader. I'm going to go down to recovery, press power again. And I manually flashed twerp recovery because we are S off and we are unlocked, so might as well use it. So we have a fully working twerp. I will leave a link below to the uh, twerp website so you can go ahead and download that. You just fast boot flash it, and we're going to go to reboot system. And we're going to swipe to install Super SU. So 
So we're going to open up the Super SU installer, and we are going to choose the twerp method. Well, we're going to wait for us to get service first. Wait for it to recognize my SIM card. All right, there we go. We got 4G LTE. So we're going to hit the twerp method. Do not choose the Play Store because it will not work. So choose twerp, choose continue. It's going to reboot into twerp recovery, and it's going to actually install the Super SU zip. Alright, and here we go. We're going to go ahead and unlock it. I'm not sure why nothing on my home screen is showing up. It hasn't since the first uh, moonshine, and <laughs> I guess I could re-add everything? I'm, I'm not going to keep it on stock, but I think it's kind of funny. And here we go. We have Super SU. Go ahead and open it up. You're going to hit no thanks. And if you get an update binary, just hit continue. We don't have any errors, so that's pretty much it. We have Super SU, we have S off, we have fully unlocked our phone, we have fully wiped the home screen, <laughs> and that's pretty much it. You can get rid of the um, the uh, flag to the top that says tampered and everything like that. If you guys need to know how to do that, just leave a comment below and I'll help you with that. But if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up because it helps me out a lot. And I'll see you guys in the next video.